So Kia tells us that the Seltos is a badass car for badass people. And what better way to find out how true that is than to actually speak to some of these badass people. My colleague Aditya is off to sunny Goa to find some of these people to know what they think about the Seltos. But we're going to do something a little different. We're going to take it up to the hills where it's cold, very cold, it's snowing. And if this is how it is in the plains, we're down in Chandigarh right now. Just imagine how crazy it's going to get up there. Goa, a destination visited by tourists from all over the world for its sun-kissed beaches and a relaxed, calm lifestyle. And it is here that our journey begins with the Seltos, an SUV that has already carved a niche with its design. Much like what our first badass Manasi Nayak, founder of Mandalism Tattoo Studio, has done for herself in Goa. After quitting her job in TV in 2012, she moved to Goa to start an apprenticeship to learn tattooing and to further understand and develop her interest in sacred geometry and geometric tattoos. Tattooing in general has a lot of meaning to it and everybody wants to etch their personal story on themselves but, but today people actually follow a particular artist for their particular style and um, they understand that um, they are coming to me for something that I specialize in which was not the case back then. I think it took long time to get here but I think India is getting there. Mansi Nayak specializes in sacred geometry, dot work, optical illusions and fine art tattoos. The Kia Seltos goes further than just good design. Simran is driving the Seltos Automatic which comes with drive modes. Ignoring your navigation instructions every once in a while can pay off big time. Choose the shortcut from Mandi to Bajora and the road opens up as the traffic turns out. Perfect conditions for sports mode. And with it engaged, you can fully exploit the beautiful balance of the Seltos with its razor-sharp reactions from the steering and throttle. It also gives you a chance to fully appreciate the rush of power from the Seltos' turbocharged motor. There's always more than one way to get the goods though, and our next badass in Manali promised us a real adrenaline rush. Dhruv Chakamadam may lead what some may call a privileged life, but that hasn't stopped him from pushing the limits of his everyday. Uh, I'm Dhruv, I'm from Manali. Uh, I snowboard, slack line, uh, rock climb, a little bit. I love the outdoors. I run a cafe in Old Manali uh, called The Shed. Before we dive into the action to keep ourselves warm, Aditya has come up with another way to get his blood pumping in Goa. What makes the cabin of the Kia Seltos a special place to be in is the Bose premium sound system with 8 speakers that ensured we were always in the right groove. Similarly, Goa's unique music is what gives this scenic state a distant vibe. To elaborate on that, further, we meet our second badass for this feature, Hussein Babai, aka DJ Hussein. Pioneering the dance scene in India in the 80s, Hussein broadened the entertainment spectrum and paved the way for a whole industry of alternate music for over 30 years. Engineered by academics, Hussein started Paradiso de Anjuna in Goa, an open air club which was way ahead of its time. What's your interpretation of music? Uh, I've always seen music as a, a language for uh, harmony and communication. And that's how it is, that's how I view it and connect to the world. Hussein, 
Now, what makes you a badass DJ, artist, producer, so many labels? So, yeah. what makes you that? I like that. Ah, uh, you could say I probably helped kickstart the electronic dance movement in India Whoa. back in the 80s. Okay. When there was nothing. <laughs> fair enough. Fair. Enough. And now I'm going to hand over the reins to Baby Badass. It's his time now. <laughs> yeah. His virtuosity at mixing every possible form of electronic dance music with various genres from Bollywood, retro, disco, pop, classical, Sufi, and even folk is what makes him a legendary artist. The Kia Seltos is not just about smashing looks and an entertaining cabin as the performance aspect too is one of his strongest highlights. Let Simran tell you about that. Thirty-five hairpins, snow nearly a foot deep, temperatures around one degree Celsius. Normally, you'd call in a four-wheel drive, but something told us the Seltos' snow mode would live up to its billing, and it did. Only needing snow chains for the extreme test coming up. Dhruv had a surprise in store for us and brought along his friend and professional badass Praveen Pintu Sood. One of the pioneers of backcountry skiing in India, both of them probably made it the first time a skier and snowboarder have towed down a slope at the back of an SUV. Backcountry skiing, we were the first guys to start in Manali uh, properly, you know, with like selling tours every year. In backcountry skiing, you go into areas where wherever you like it, you know, you see a nice spot, you say, okay, let's climb up there and ski down this line, and it becomes more challenging, more remote. Yeah. Though we doubt it'd be the last. 60 kmph on a snowy road doesn't seem like such a great idea until you experience the confidence a setup like this gives you. Of course, hanging on to the back of the Seltos is pretty damn exciting too. Extreme to the T, these badasses live life on their own terms and let nothing come in their way, not even Mother Nature. <laughs> <laughs> 